Do you know what this is? Don't be too quick to decide. It's really not what it looks like. Yes, it has plastic on the outside, a mask, and some straps. But if you guess that this is a normal hockey helmet, you are wrong. Auntie Allison, Uncle, Ho Uncle Kenny, Sean, and Sarah. This is a magical hockey helmet, and most kids who play hockey today have one. You look like you don't believe me. How is this hockey helmet magical? Well, it does something that is simply amazing. When I put it on, it changes me from a 9-year-old boy to a 20-year-old man. There are no puffs of smoke, no lightning bolts, and it needs no magic wands. It just makes me older. Much older. Just ask all the adults in the stands. When I walk into an arena for a hockey game, my helmet is in my bag and every adult I see treats me with respect. They are friendly to me, kind, and if I spill my pop, they are quick to forgive me. But the minute I put on my magic helmet and step on the ice, adults treat me much differently. They yell at me, they curse me, and they call me names. They treat me like I've been playing hockey for 15 years and get mad when I make a mistake. And I know it's a helmet because when I go to a friend's backyard drink and I'm only wearing a toque, adults treat me much nicer. Many young hockey players are scared of the magic helmet. The yelling that it brings makes them frightened and confused while playing the game. And most of the time, the adults that are yelling are the player's own parents. Magic helmets have caused fights in arenas between fans and parents and yelling between coaches. They have even caused a man in the United States to go to jail for six years for killing another man at an arena. Unfortunately, many magical helmets over the years have caused a lot of young players to quit the game. George Armstrong, a former Toronto Maple Leaf captain, said it best when he suggested, Hockey in Canada will be in good shape when parents decide that it is being played for their children's benefit and not their own. While every kid loves magic, these magical helmets are clearly not good for hockey. Sometimes I wish it were like the old days when players didn't have to wear helmets and they're treated with respect. Ah, those were the days. I can only imagine someday playing with a regular helmet, without any bad magic, and having fans cheer when I play well, and even when I don't. The game would be so much more fun! But in today's world, it seems almost impossible. But ladies and gentlemen, you can help destroy the bad magic in the helmet. Be a real fan, have fun at the rinks, cheer loudly, and enjoy the real magic of minor hockey.